All right. This is going to be my template. And as you can see, I'm going to make it a little longer and make the sleeves a little wider. So I'm using a washable marker to make the outline. I drew out a few ideas for the sleeve here. I think I'm going with this, um, this line here. So it's going to go like this and then it's going to curve down like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this side first flip it over and then make sure I get the exact same thing on the other side. So I went ahead and soaked it in the soda ash solution and let it dry overnight. You can see I made a cut down the middle. There's a bit of room for the neck, a little bit of a half circle in the back. So I still like things pretty much symmetrical. So that means that I folded it this way to zip tie it. These are the two front flaps, these are the sleeves, and this is the back flap. It's probably not good for her to be on throat ash. What do you think? You helping me out? I drew a curve along the back piece like this. the front areas we're going to be doing a chevron pattern so it's going to be this down sloping line for the sleeves i think i'm just going to do a really big accordion so i'm going to fold it you know like this all the way up to there and then i have a big tube Cool, let's see how that goes. So here it is, this is the back panel. This part is the sleeves. This is the front panels. So we can kind of see, it looks like a sea dragon. Here is the general layout. So I put it in my bin with the mesh over the screen. These are the colors we use today, blue violet, cobalt blue, better black, bright green, grape, and cerulean blue. So we've got, oh well we've got everything, huh? I've really been feeling blues and purples, so I think for the sleeves part, I'm gonna do blues and purples. So to start off with, actually I'm gonna take a little golden yellow, this color, let's see it's more orange, but golden yellow and just put a little bit where some of the ties are. I might switch over to lime green. Lime green, where did you go? Lime squeeze. Just gonna give all these little edges a pop. And as a reminder, this curly cue here, these are the front sleeves, that's the back, and these are the sleeve sleeves, so this is the front panels. spots. Then we have grape and blue violet. So these are some of my favorites. We'll do the grape. So what was I saying again? This part.
Okay, so that's the grape. Blue violet. feeling next. Let's go into some, put some black on the edges. Cerulean blue. Ah, I almost forget. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is the jam. Right there. It's a really cool blue. Put a little bit right there. Finish off that part. And let's see what else. Let me do some over here. Really blue. This is, and this was going into the front front sleeves, so light dusting. I think maybe I'm gonna back that up with some citrus yellow. Anyone curious? decision to make. Do I want to go into the reds or do I want to stay with the color scheme that I have now? So if I go black, black into scarlet without pushing it. This is scarlet. I'm feeling scarlet. Maybe I'll just stay with the purples and the... Yeah, we'll do that. Green, Kelly green, bright green, maybe a little bright green. Just laying it back up again. off with that blue purple which is always so much fun. Blue violet. Okay. Look around, see if we need to fill in any holes or anything. But I think that's it. I think we're going to just see what happens. 
when the ice melts. Hopefully this corner gets stuff melted. Alright, feeling good about that. So it's been resting for 24 hours now. So all the ice is melted and we can see the colors. And we can check on the saturation. So looks like there's gonna be a few white spots, but that's cool too. All right, now we're gonna rinse it out. Here's a little sneak peek of one of the parts. It's coming out pretty cool. All right, now I need to cut the rest of the ties. All right, and here's how it came out. <laughs> All right, so here's how it looks. This is the back. You can see we kind of got that curved design in there, and uh, some nice purples. All right, so it's dry now, and I pinned it together. So here's one of the sleeves and here's the back and now I'm going to sew it and I'm also making a part that goes, goes right here. Right, so I took the collar part and I folded it in half and I dyed it, so now we're going to do the reveal. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Oh, neat. Oh, that's cool. So basically, let's see if you can see it better. There's two pieces that I'm gonna sew in the middle. And we used um, the blue purple or blue violet and the bright green. So I ended up with some interesting color combos, but this is exactly what I wanted. Love it! It's gonna look so cool. Alright. The sash, sleeve. Finished product. Here we go. Happy with the sleeves. So basically, this is three pieces of fabric one very big piece, one smaller piece for the collar, oh, looking sharp, and another piece for the sash. And for the sash, I used a thinner material, it's this really thin cotton. So I just did a little mandala on it. So the colors complement. And there we go.